Intro is on you. I can't even remember how to do this. Ready? You want me to do it? Hello, hello, hello. No, <laughs> no, I do not want you to do it, bro. And I want to do it myself. Uh, welcome back, everyone. To episode 72, 2024. The three dudes. I bet you guys probably thought, thank God those fuckers ended their podcast. And guess what? We're back. We didn't end the podcast. We just had a little couple breaks for the holidays. Obviously, that's warranted. And then we had a couple conflicts arise. Uh, Liam was in Indiana. I forgot about that. We could add that to the notes. Yeah. I was in New York City, Montana. You guys were in Florida. So the boys were traveling, man, yeah. worldwide, cross country. But we're back. I think, what were we off? Like a month? I think four yeah. weeks. Yeah. 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 I did have some people asking, you know, where's the podcast? When are the episodes coming out? I had nobody ask me. And then I was like, yeah. we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. They're like, you left the podcast, right? <laughs> did the other you, two did you please quit? Yeah. Uh, but no, we're back. Uh, excited to be back. But yeah, it feels a little different kind of getting into the podcast here. Yeah, been a while yeah. yeah, sitting in front of the mic. I missed it. It is good. We are missing our producer, Nathan. Um, Didn't miss that. <laughs> actually, I feel I like it a lot better this way. I think we're going to start 2024 off with him. Yeah, missing. We're taking applications for producers. Yeah. He bailed. Uh, he He had a conflict last night. I didn't have a conflict last night, but I just got back from New York yesterday. So I was like, I don't know how bad I really want to film. Plus, I had work yeah. to do by Monday morning. And you guys were accommodating, and then Nathan pulled through saying he's pretty busy, so we blamed it on him immediately, which is great. Got to have someone to blame. Yeah, and he doesn't listen to this, so even better. He'll never know Mm -hmm. uh, we're blaming it on him until we tell him next week. Well, his loss. Yeah, his loss. Uh, All right, so let's – we're going to – there's not really a topic we have this week. We still have lakes on the board, um, which is okay because we're just going to be catching up, you know? We're going to be talking – maybe our title can be something like trips – and catching up in holidays. Recent news. Something like that. 2024. Recent news. That probably covers it all. Yeah. Uh, but how was your guys' holidays, man? It was pretty good, man. I uh, I received Christmas gifts yeah. on Christmas <laughs> and the day before. So, Did your uncle, I remember you on the podcast, you used to tell a story about your uncle. He'd take you guys into the back. Oh, that's a tough way to start that sentence. But he'd take you, <laughs> wow. in, he'd take you into the room and then he'd say, just grab whatever you want. And then you grab it. Yeah. So my uncle, he was mentally handicapped, <laughs> but he'd always just go buy like a bunch of gifts yeah. at the dollar store or wherever. And you have like 30 things laid out on the bed for the whole family. And he'd be like, okay, pick two. Yeah. It, pick two of whatever you want. My brother grabbed something. I can't remember. And. He goes, well, can I just pick one? He goes, nope, got to pick two. Grab another one. <laughs> were they gender neutral or is he grabbing? Yeah, I mean, like- they were stuff like calculators or like. Uh, oh, great gifts. Uh, Time magazine. <laughs> yeah. Candy bars. I mean, yeah, just, you Good know, stuff. random stuff. Calculator and candy bar. I don't know if I'm putting them in the same basket. You know, No, either was he. That's why I just <laughs> laid him across the yeah. comforter. But yeah, it was, it was pretty funny when he was doing that. You definitely have some different outcomes. You open one up a calculator. Yeah. Oh, they Next weren't even a wrapped. candy bar. They weren't wrapped. No, you they knew were. what you were getting. Oh, yeah. so I was like, face. I thought they were wrapped. It was like face up poker, man. You don't even have to. You just walk. Right. Yeah. Bed. That's why he's like, pick two. You get to pick two, whatever okay. gifts you want and try taking one. But that wasn't allowed. Was it like oldest first? I can't remember. Free for all. Yeah. It basically, I, he'd just g- grab a couple of people and be like, you got to grab two of these things. Yeah. Broden remembers chocolate bar calculator because he was the last one to go in the room. Yeah. Grab two, and there's just a chocolate bar and a calculator (laughs) on the bed. That's pretty sweet, though. Yeah, I do like that concept. Then, you know, it takes stress off him where he's just like, I need 14 gifts. Lay them there. Call it a day. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Go spend 20 bucks somewhere. Yeah. Liam, you uh, holidays, you're on a little trip. Yeah, yeah, ventured out. I went to my uh, yearly tradition, head back to Indiana because my dad's from there. So whole side of the family's there, but... Real low key, kept it, kept it real down low. It uh, flew in Christmas Eve, spent a little time with my aunts and uncles. And then my dad lives at my grandparents' lake house, like a couple hours or so south. So everyone else oh. lives up north. So I was there for all the way up until New Year's Eve. And then we drove up to see my grandparents up north. We're going to drive back, but stayed there for inclement weather. Mm. So... So a little cabin in the woods situation. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, did I you mean, hunt your own food? Would have if I could, yeah. yeah. It's a nice little spot for it. Private lake, little lake house. So, But there's grocery stores and stuff around? 
Close, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Then I cabin in the woods down south or up north, so I immediately thought you and your dad foraging. It in. Yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. I mean, I would love to do a that esque of trip someday where yeah. you where you go to like in Montana or something and then you just living would in the you, woods. Would you want to do with your dad or would you want to do with like a friend like Broden? <laughs> Both. <laughs> I mean, each man, your dad, one trip. I think that'd be a blast. <laughs> that would be electric. It'd be the equivalent of me, you and Chase and going to Vegas. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Since everyone says that I'm just like my dad and my dad's yeah. just like me. Same, it, with, same with you and your dad. Isn't I mean, it cool so that's when why you get hilarious. dads that are, you know, just dads, like, but they're still they're like, part of the friend group, you know? Yeah. It's like you can come hang out. They're cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're cool as shit. Yeah. That's that's why it, it's so fun. I mean, like, especially like you don't realize it when you're a kid, but like as you get older then it's like you start becoming a man and Mm -hmm. then you just start shooting the shit with your dad just because now you're of age. Yeah. And you're like, this guy's cool. Yeah. It's cool as shit. Yeah. My dad's awesome. I'd sit and shoot the shit with my dad all night. Yeah. Right. Two cigars, puffing them. Yeah. Why not? There you go. Yeah. So it was fun. I sat around on the couch a lot. I watched all of Jack Reacher. So that's a thing you do every year. You go there every year for Christmas. Yeah. I try to, I try to get there twice a year. Sometimes it's for Christmas. Sometimes it's for Thanksgiving, just depending on, because my parents are divorced, obviously. So someone gets a holiday. Shows how observative I am. This is the first year I've noticed. I'm like, oh, Liam's gone for Christmas. Guess I just don't really think about it too in depth. 26 years. I'm never way. like, where is Liam? What, you know, What's Liam doing right yeah. now? Yeah. But no, that makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Didn't you take the train last time you went there? I think I did. Yeah. I want to say you did because your dad had to pick you up. From Indianapolis, yeah. And... There was something wrong with the train got delayed and your dad ended yeah. up driving all the way there and having to wait for you for a long time. No, no, yeah, it wasn't no. it wasn't terribly long, no. It got delayed leaving Minot like seven or eight hours. Like insane. Were you there the whole time? Like sitting at the train? Oh yeah. When it got delayed. Oh man. I know yeah, I'm a big so train just, fan, man. Trains are sick. I've never read none. Trains are really aside from the fact that because like it's not like a plane where if something gets backed up, they're like, Oh, we'll get a new plane in here, no problem. Like that's the train that you're going on. Yeah. And so Whether you like some, it or we're not, not just yeah, going to forklift goes wrong. this thing off the tracks and <laughs> yeah. put another one on. So you're, you're stuck and that's what, and it's like a whole, they all run off one track, the Amtrak. Yeah. And so like, if something happens in Montana, sorry, dude, now you're Boeing for the really? next four hours. Yeah. So the Amtrak holds all of the Amtrak trains. Yeah. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. I suppose each railroad. So it's all owns connected. A set of tracks. Yeah. Who would it would make that? more sense if we finally did Elon Musk's bullet train throughout yeah, the United the States. The hover rail thing. That would be nice. The underground railroad, They're, so uh, to speak. <laughs> not the same concept, yeah. but same name. Yeah. Kind of the same. Um, yeah. Someone had to pioneer the idea. Exactly. We need yeah. spearheads all over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They should like put like art decor under the train like as an homage to that. Yeah. Except you'll be going like 300 miles an hour. So yeah. it won't. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that yeah. half of Harry, it was, like, it was, was a different color. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's carve it in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. Cave drawings. Yeah. Um, no, why couldn't it be? I mean, if you're going that fast, you could do it. Because have you ever seen how? Like, when, have you seen those books? I think this is the coolest thing ever. Like flip those books. Books. Well, I could. I mean, With that thumb. That too. But like, have you seen the ones where if you take like the, just all the all the pages and you twist them in just the right way, oh, and it, yeah. it makes a design. Why can't it have it be like that where like it'd be yeah. if you see it that fast? Kind of like the art that or hangs if just, and you have to be standing at a certain angle and it looks like a face. If you, if you drew turn, it, it's just mangled metal. But like super elongated the image. Yeah. yeah. So it's like when you stretch it like on Photoshop and yeah. it gets all distorted. It's just Pinocchio. But like when His you drive by tongue. real fast, Average nose. <laughs> it looks three normal. miles long. Stop nose. Yeah. I like that. There's got to be a way. I think you could. I think we should you call you. Commission. This is something the board could definitely take up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder how much, how much poll power we could have if we email people and say the board would like to inquire about this. I think if you, if we were official enough where we had a website, yeah. the board.com. Yeah. It was like us three in like Supreme court robes with That's white how powdered wigs with, on. Yeah. I was yeah. just about to say that, man, I saw a photo online this weekend and it was, an image of what they used to wear, those giant white wigs with the curly things coming straight down. And uh, the caption was just like, imagine being Indian and you see this fucker get off the boat. (laughs) I would be terrified too. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably their first time seeing a white person, right? And they look like that. 
They're like, what are these wigs? Their hair is huge. It's they a demon. Terrifying. Yeah. You got to immediately think your land's being good. It's kind of like when Shane Gillis talks about George Washington being in the woods against the British. Yeah. When he's like, there's some crazy six foot two guy in 1780. (laughs) Yeah. Which is like 612 today or whatever he says. Is that how tall uh, J-Dub was? I want to say he's like six two or six three, something around there. I'll look it up real quick, but. Just a mammoth. Yeah. Back then, dude, he was like Yao Ming. Yeah. That's pretty big. Um, But yeah, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of trains. Uh, the main reason is because I was in New York City, and we'll get to the New York City trip. But yeah, six foot two, six two. Yeah, okay. Um, that's, a, that's like how tall you are, right? Yeah. So I'd be freaking massive back then. Oh, dude. Yeah. I'll be pulling stuff off shelves for people. Yeah, the cookie jar was not a thing. Yeah. No. But uh, yeah, if they started basketball back then, George Washington never would have been president. He would have <laughs> been, been Michael center. Jordan. Yeah, White Jordan. It's kind of like White Iverson from Post Malone. Oh. Um, but yeah, we'll get into the New York City trip. But I was at the reason the train thing came about. I was at Grand Central Station. Oh, and I've just, always wanted to go there, man. Just like looking at how many different trains there are and routes and figuring all that That's out. Like it's all like all subway kind of stuff, right? Horrible. Yeah, I didn't take the subway once either. So I'm going to interject real quick. Okay. As it stands right now, there is no theboard.com. Really? Yeah, there's, there's plenty of... Plenty of different stuff. Theboard.com. There, uh, there's we are the board. How much does it cost to own board, a domain? Boardsource.org. Board what? Probably 12 bucks. God, we shouldn't have put this out now because someone's going to go buy it. If you listen to this and you're a true fan, do not go buy. Or go buy it and gift it to Get us. Get it to us, yeah. Gift it to us. You we'll can give, do we'll that. give you a year, a year subscription to the Patreon. Let me check because if it's not, I'll buy it tomorrow. Search because I don't know if I Talk entirely the board.com is taken really right here. Yeah, oh. godaddy.com. Oh. Um, we can hire a broker for $69.99 to Wait, try to get it for godaddy us. owns the board.com. No, godaddy is where you go check the if the domain Websites. is taken or not. Yeah, the board.inc we could buy for a thousand dollars. It's on sale for four from we four thousand dollars. How about dot dot org? No, I, I found a board.org. The board.org sounds way better. <laughs> it doesn't it? The what org, about the, the board, board, board How about the board.gov? The boardman.com. Is there any way we could be the board? But we could do instead of the board, the boardman, we could do the board B O R E D. B O R E D. Board. Like I'm we'll, be we'll be the board. Like this yeah. is the board. Well, thanks for coming to the board. We're bored. So give us give us hey, your just things. Check. Yeah. Damn. We offer advice. It's not good. It's not bad, but yeah. it's advice. It's weird. We haven't had any like questions from the fans on advice they need, but I'm sure it'll come. I wonder Maybe why. we have, <laughs> yeah. but let's ask these three middle-aged guys, not middle-aged young, young men. men. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Knuckle that one up. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like some, I'd like to give advice. I want to be a guy that just gives advice. I'd like to be in a position of total and complete power. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to I, steer people's lives. Don't you just want to be like the guy people think of for advice though? Sometimes I do think I'm that person. Apparently not I do to our ask, fans. I ask not Liam. Not to our fans. I ask Liam for advice. Like yeah. not all the time, but On like when, I, topics. when yeah, I need advice, I ask him. From friends. Don't you want it from strangers? From what, strangers. Yeah, but what you don't know what kind of insight strangers have, which is also a leg up too. Yeah. Maybe they are <laughs> geniuses in that topic. Sometimes yeah. you just need a different perspective. I want to be that third view. party, you know? Everyone's so in depth in their thing, they need a third party to look at it. Yeah. What about like a, a mitigator? Arbitrator? Yeah, like somebody who mitigator like, like a, a neutral mold. yeah, like a <laughs> isn't aren't they mitigation? Mitigation. If you're going to mitigate something, you're trying to mold You're like a neutral third party that's trying to be the compromise. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought that was specifically like a mold mold removal guy. No, that's clean what? tech. Mitigation is when you get rid of something, I Didn't believe. you do... Yeah, conflict. Ad work for... I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Conflict. <laughs> conflict mitigator. Yeah. That's, that's, conflict yeah. mitigation. That's literally yeah. a thing. That's like when two people have a disagreement. It's and like a divorce. You, con- somebody you go, you go talk what to a conflict them. is to somebody. You know, and that's what, that's what you would say. You look at somebody else and you go, how are you going to mitigate this? Uh, yeah, mitigation, the act, action of reducing the severity, seriousness, or painfulness of something. Yeah. 
I thought it was tied strictly to mold, but I'm glad I learned something today. I never thought once about mitigation being mold. You obviously haven't worked for Surf Pro before. That's what I was going to say. Didn't you do ad work for some yeah. mitigators? It's going to be tough for Liam to get out of that door with that camera like that. Nope, I'm not. Oh, you're just taking off that goddamn I was wondering if it was chilly down here because it feels warm to me. Yeah, already. turn the heater on. For, wow, tucked in and everything. Hey, why don't you give a nice flex to the camera since you're so close? Just get yeah. up in there. If you guys are uh, watching the episode, you can see Liam undress right in front of the main this camera. Is one of my better shirts. Dude, you gotta, I, was, I was looking in the mirror today. Your ass isn't talked about enough. I know we always talk about I, Easton's. Yeah, but you have a nice little rump to no, you. I don't. I'm wearing I'm wearing basketball shorts underneath these. So <laughs> it's it like doesn't I'm wearing matter. A, I'm wearing a fake rubber ass. I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it, you, you know, I appreciate that. Thank you. That does make me feel good. It just doesn't. You know, it's like a little body dysmorphia kind of deal. I don't. I look in the mirror. I don't think I have a nice ass. Dude, you're. Is you're body cut, dysmorphia like when you're, you're actually dysmorphed or I'm, when you think you are? I'm as heavy as I am have ever been. Yeah, but I'm not like cut. Well, you know what I meant, but like you're you're stocky. You're, you're dude. cut from I the am, ass I of do the cow. Build. I'm st- I, I, I you're built. That's what I was looking for. You're built. You. I have a yeah. stocky build. Thank you. Yeah, lineman. I got I, a nice. I don't. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's a le- we're not Liam Brown the same. Line your build. Oh, I thought you meant build. lineman you're as more, occup- more, occup- I would occupation. say more like linebacker. No, I'm talking lineman like football. Like yeah, they're built. Like, but they're not. They're you know. They're not washing their clothes on their stomachs. Right. Washboard abs. Yeah. Yeah. They are not doing that. No. Yeah. Not me. Some of them might. I don't know. I did. Yeah. I was hitting it hard for like four days there. Did a few push ups and sit ups. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Fuck. I got home from work one night and he was home before me. And I just walk into his room to see what's up. And uh, he's doing push ups. And it's on his floor. I'm like, what's going on, man? It's like, you all right? And he goes, just doing push ups. And I said, just repping them out. You want to smoke a cigarette? <laughs> I said, yep. He goes, yep, I was just on my last one. <laughs> Isn't that the, the best is when you're like working out in your room? I used to do this when I was growing up. I'd like work out in my room and then like I'd hear someone coming and I'd like get up. I'm like, oh, even heavy. And they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. Not working out. Just just beating off, dad. I'm <laughs> yeah, not working I out. I definitely was not working out in here. It's like, why are you just so embarrassed to be working out in your own room? But I'm not. My house. Yeah. But I, I told myself if I, if I, with the new year, if I fell into, if I made myself a routine where I worked out for a little bit every day, then I could justify buying some gym equipment off of like Facebook marketplace, throw it in my garage. Yeah. Cause then I have the routine. Then I would justify having that instead of looking for the instant gratification of saying like using something else. You ever like notice that where it's like, Oh, if I had this, like if I bought a pair of running shoes, I'd run so much more. Yeah. But you want yeah. because you need to actually do the running first. Yeah. It's like the chicken and the egg, you know? Chicken can't be born. Something's got to come first. Yeah. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Something's got to come first before you start yeah. getting all this extra stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, there is no chicken without the egg, I yeah. think is more what you're looking for. It's like, and I've done it before too, to where it's like, I bought a book or two. I was like, if I buy this book, I'm going to start reading more. It's like, well, I don't read in the first place. So no, I'm not. Oh, I'm definitely I'm, not. And I, and I bought it anyway. Yeah. And, and yeah. I bought Spe- it and I haven't opened up a single page. Speaking of that, I was in Barnes and Noble this weekend with my better half and she was there looking for puzzles. And I saw that they have this whole section of vinyl records. Yeah. So cool, dude. <laughs> You're a record guy now. Well, I have Let a record player. Let me show player. you a little store called budget record downtown. Why not? They got hits. I, I go to, uh, what's the, antique store over by the fairgrounds one of our old teachers uh mr usinski owns it i haven't heard of that name in years <laughs> remember he was the old tech ed teacher at, yeah. at ramstead mr. but he owns mr usinski all right yeah. we know that was a person yeah pretty okay. cool dude, dude yeah he's a great guy but he uh, owns he, the record shop the it's, antique it's, shop? A, it's an antique shop and they have old antique like cool records like johnny cash stuff like that you know yeah. lana del rey no <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift, though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh oh. But he's got all this cool old stuff. That's besides the point. But now, like, I have a record player. And I have old records like Dean Martin and Merle Haggard, stuff like old stuff yeah. like that. That's what I'm into, I guess. I got a record player in the room next door. Oh, that's right. You do. Yeah. I got Queen. I got Johnny Cash. Um, there's one. I got more. Merle Haggard. Oh, the Beatles. That's what it is. Oh, you know, just the staples, just the cliche ones. You got some names that people are like, 
Is that a person? It's Dean Martin. Someone you got to Google to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> Dean Martin, no. Merle Hager, Johnny Cash. Um, Merle Hager. Do you know who that is, Sam? Yeah, old country singer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, not familiar. I think I have a, I want to say I have a Waylon Jennings. Marty Robbins, I have one. Yeah. I have a funny story about the record player one time. I came home from the bar, and I had just gotten my record player, and I just went to Budget Records and bought some records. And uh was pretty drunk, and parents get, oh, actually, I walked home from the bar. My parents were walking home because they live close. And uh, I pretty much convinced them. I said, you guys are coming into my house. We got to listen to some records. <laughs> and it's 2.15 in the morning, and I'm making them another drink. They didn't drink it. They just kind of held on to it. But I'm drinking my drink. And I put my record player on the floor, on the carpet in the living room. And I just was playing some records. And we were kind of just sitting there. You just staring at it? Yeah, pretty much. So how is this? And they were like, what are we doing here? Because I forced. I was like, you guys are coming to my house. They yeah. obviously could have went their own way. But uh, we also had a book. When I was in Cleveland, I got a book at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's a queen. Uh, when they were on tour, they had all the pictures from their tour. Like their last tour or something. So we're listening to like the Beatles pre death of it was when Freddie Mercury was still alive. Yep. Yep. So all the pictures from their tour and everything. So we're listening to like the Beatles and or Elton John. Maybe I think it was Elton John. Cause I'm a big Elton John fan. And we are flipping through this old queen book at two thirty in the morning, most random night ever. And then, uh, yeah, the next day I'm pretty sure my mom was like, you're pretty tuned up last night. <laughs> And yeah, texted him the next day and apologized. I was, I was like, what do we do? Sorry, I made you do, go through that. Yeah, I don't even think I remembered entirely like what we did. I had to get like a quick rundown. Like, yeah. yeah, we went to your house and listened to records. Hmm. What so an absurd cool. thing to do. <laughs> so cool. Uh, and I don't think I put a record on it since. So yeah, that's I don't right. think I can. I think at that point, it's like, that's the best memory you're going to get with that record player. Pretty much. Unless like I have one, oh, I don't, John have, I don't have it set up. Like it, it'd be Mine's cool, it'd be cool to box. have it set up sometime, but you got like a big wooden one or I got one that's like a suitcase. You flip it open, plug it in. Boom. Mine's probably about the right size in. of this yeah. little end table. Yeah. Mine's not nearly that big. Mine, you could walk into an airport and they'd think you'd have something. I got just the record player and then you plug speakers into it, this and that, whatever. Okay. But we'll see. Maybe down the road, once I get. I got a million projects to do at my house. Yeah. So maybe that'll be one of them one day is I make a cut out little, in your wall little station, it. little station for the record player, the couple little speakers on the sides have what I got there. I never really understood the fascination with the record, you know, with the vinyl is, I, is I it think more about now, just having them now. It's just one of those, I think like, I'd, I'd hate to say hipster, but it's just one yeah. of those like novelty items where it's like, yeah, right. I got one of these and people like collecting, sports cards or whatever you know yeah, like some yeah. people like correct collecting records yeah which i, I kind of the same people that have like beanies without folds have record players yeah or i oh, saw man. i was what i was i was at budget music one day and i was scrolling through their records and i saw one never heard of this fellow before in my life cover of this vinyl record was him playing the saxophone and sparks flying out of the end of it i go gotta have it this is sick <laughs> i go this has to be good yeah didn't buy it oh you should have but what I, I well i took a picture of it and i go i'm gonna jam some of this when i get home see if i like it go back for it never listen to it <laughs> well, so, know, that's well, like you saying i'm buying this gym equipment i would say <laughs> do exactly, these workouts. exactly you're more into jazz music than the average guy i played i, think. I played a little light jazz when yeah. i was a boy yeah when i was, when I was <laughs> no lad. but i mean like you enjoy it yeah, like I listen to every genre of music ever made. Oh yeah, I Roy Donk. Do. Yeah, Roy Donk, Tiny Boops, Quick Shorterly. Can't say Marcus I've, the word can't say Hicks. I've yeah. heard of them yet, but jazz legends. Colgate Comedy Hour, dude. <laughs> you don't know Roy Donk? I'm not falling for this again. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing this again. Uh, God, no. not after you guys swindled me last time yeah. with your uh, t-shirts. God, that was funny. Dan, Dan Flashes. Yeah, Dan Flashes. That's Speaking of Dan Flashes, dude. Did was, you run into any stores like that? Oh, my gosh. You had to have of, done some shopping, I, right? I don't know if I sent you guys the video, but uh, so Shana met me there in uh, New York City the last couple of days, Romantic. and she she was looking for a pea coat. She wanted a pea coat, and she couldn't find one in North Dakota. Uh, so I was like, I'll oh, just look in New York City. I'm sure they got it somewhere. And we go to a couple different stores. $1,500. Yeah. We go to a couple different stores, and we go into a Zara. 
Have you guys ever been into, into a Zara? Yes. Didn't, never even heard of it. Yeah. So it's like this female. I don't even know if they sell male clothes. Maybe. Um, but we go in there and it is chaos. It is like the female band flashes. Every single girl looked the exact same. They're ripping stuff off the hangers. They're like, ah. So I took a video of this chaos. Yeah. And I sent it to probably not you because you don't watch the show, but I might have sent it to you, Run. But I pretty much said like the female version. You forgot about me. Yeah. um, So I forgot about Run, but maybe it's because I knew I was going to tell the story on the podcast and I wanted you to hear it here. But um, it was like the female version of Dan Flash is craziest thing ever. Uh, Mm -hmm. And that was... Yeah, it was something, but that was pretty much the only shopping we did. We went there and then like one other store for the Pico. I want to say we went into one when we were in Dallas. A Dan Flashes? Zara. Oh, oh yeah. I bought my Chelsea boots from Zara. Boom. That's what it was. So they do sell male stuff? Yeah, apparently. I'm just women's size. I'd say they're unisex. (laughs) They sell unisex gear. Um, yeah, that is, yeah, they, them gears, what they sell. I did get those from Zara. That's from a Zara. Uh, yeah, that's nice. But yeah, I guess we can kind of pivot in New York city. That was kind of one of my yeah, topics like that to I want to talk it. about. Let's go. Cool. Um, so what do you know, if I say, what do you picture? Cause I've never been to New York before. If I say New York city, what do you guys picture? Tony down on the 149th <laughs> selling cold cuts. <laughs> what about you, Liam? I think of, uh, that one spot. Where there's all those big signs. Times Square? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So I was about two blocks away from Times Square. Rats. rats. Yeah. Think, about, think about rats. I, first thing I asked I, you. The Yankees. Yankee mm-hmm. Stadium. And then Central Park. Yeah. And those then are, probably Manhattan. Those are two big tall. things. So I stayed in Manhattan. Here's one thing I that you. recall <laughs> Central <laughs> Park in fall. <laughs> you ripped your dress. What a mess. Is I that confess. Michael Bublé? It's me, but <laughs> couldn't tell the difference. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I might. Yeah. Uh, I, was just, I was. I was listening to Frank Sinatra on the drive oh. home from from Menard today. I go, yeah, I could. I could I definitely could get a record. I could find myself on karaoke night, really drunk. And yeah. that's another guy I have on vinyl. Frank there Sinatra. Right yeah. there. Uh, so here's what you should think of in New York: uh, homeless guys hitting the bottom of their chin a lot while looking into the sky at God knows what. What's well, called tripping on yeah. the Yeah. The amount of times I saw them just standing there like. <laughs> it was the <laughs> weirdest Dude, thing for ever. For what? For quarters, I don't know if that's dude. like the. For quarters. <laughs> throw one in. Throw one in. It's like a, yeah, a gumball machine. That's, if you wanted me to give you some money, I could get behind that. Open your mouth and let me, <laughs> let me Eraldis Chapman a quarter into your front yeah. tooth. It's like Michael Jackson, the beginning of Smooth Criminal, when he flips that coin across the bar oh, and yeah. lands in the jukebox. Yeah. You know how many tries that took him? How many? It was probably fake. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, he's MJ. He probably got one. But probably. yeah. Saw a lot of that. Um, a lot of homeless people. It's kind of <laughs> the homeless. Did you get a New York City slice from Sbarro? Go Not Sally Sbarro. slices. Did you? But I didn't. Uh, Sbarro, is that like one specific place? Yeah. Okay. I didn't probably get it from there. Is that where the but, Sally slices guys yeah, from on TikTok? No. I don't think no. so. I have no idea where that guy's from. But there was this, you know, you go down the hotel, like literally three steps to my right is dollar slices well they were dollar 50 you could walk to the corner of the block and get 99 cent slices and that line was wrapped around like a spiral and i'm like dude just pay 51 more cents i can't believe they're selling something for less than a buck in new york city my yeah. cousin lives in new york and it's expensive it is very expensive i spent 395 dollars on ubers that's insane does that make you want to throw up that's insane please tell me they how were many ubers write-offs. did you take they were um how many Ubers did I take? Probably. I've never been to <laughs> 10. Uvu Javer. Uvu Javer. I've been to Uvu Javer. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive. Double digits. No, it's probably around 10. Um, would be I, double digits. Yeah. Yeah. But let's see here. I'll count them up. I got them right here. On so the how app. come you didn't just That's walk? Insane. I walked everywhere. I walked 10 miles a day. Damn. That's so I didn't nothing. take any Uber. So, uh, let's see the 13th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 on the dot. Took 10 Ubers. Jeez. $395. Oh, 40 bucks an Uber is insane. Right on, dude. Yeah. Um, so getting to the airport to Manhattan was $70, and it was 25 minutes. Um, and I, that's two of those trips, obviously. And then there were a couple for the shoot I was there for. 
had to go up to Columbia University. That was probably another 50 bucks. And then one other, when we went to Central Park, that was kind of far away. So those are kind of the bigger trips. But other than that, you walk everywhere. And it is dirty as all get out. Not like Japan? I've never been, but from what you've told me, it's pretty clean. Is there trash everywhere? At night, the restaurants, they just take all their garbage and set it on the curb. 30 bags every restaurant. Not in bins. Not in big dumpsters. Just garbage bag on the sidewalk. Did you see Spider-Man? Homeless people got to be eating good. Homeless people dig in them hands-free like they just... It's the craziest thing ever. They're of like course. nighttime is their most favorite time of the day. That's yeah, what I saw it's this time, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I saw this they can one finally dude. eat. On uh, some, I can't. Uh, it was a video, but he's like, when you're homeless, you sleep in the day, you wake up at night, and you start digging through trash. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, that's what we, that's what you do. <laughs> wow. But the funny thing, I gotta think. I I think I gotta get into the recycling business because there was dudes that would dig in the garbage to pull out cans and plastic bottles that were empty to put in a different bag to go recycle. So I don't know how homeless much money dudes? they didn't look too or far off. Or just dudes who were like, dudes look like, or like these people are going to hell. I better recycle for them. But. No, it looked like homeless dudes that somehow got an outfit, took an outfit from someone, you know, <laughs> it's like you look homeless, but your clothes are cleaner than that person's. Yeah. Maybe they're using that recycling money to go to the laundromat wash their clothes, but I, it's crazy. They would have shopping carts full of recyclables. Recyclables, yeah. And I'm like, what is the I recycle suppose, game like? I mean, here? for a 99 cent slice, I mean. I suppose, yeah. Shop, shopping cart might feed you for a week. But, yeah, I mean, it was crazy watching them dig in there. Um, I saw one homeless guy sitting on, like, a fire hydrant. Is that what it's called? A hydrant? Yeah. Sitting on it, I went into this. Fir- the first pizza shop I went into wasn't dollar slice, like six bucks a slice. So shitty. And I was like, ah, oh, I see why I'm not ever coming back here. And I sat, I walked past this dude. He was right outside of the door. And then I sat on one of the chairs. It was like a bar top looking right out the window onto the road. And he was sitting right in front of me. And I watched him for 25 minutes just scream. He was like, give a homeless guy some money. Just over and over. <sighs> give a homeless guy some money. No one gave him a dime. But I was thinking, I'm like, he's said enough. I might go give him 20 bucks. Just see what he does. <laughs> like, oh, my God. He would freak. he would immediately have wet pants. I I just feel like he would have jumped me for some reason. Like, I'm, I'm sure he would have been. Maybe. He's excited. homeless. Just beat him up. <laughs> but he's bigger than me. And you know those homeless people got freak strength for some reason? No. Eh. They're homeless. The meth ones yeah. do. If they were strong. They'd have a home. <laughs> they would build one. Yeah. <laughs> they just build one, dude. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure if that's how that would work. <laughs> um, but yeah, he just kept yelling. And I was like, I almost want to give him some money. Just see. Just I'm like, 20 bucks up. for me. So you can enjoy your slice. I don't know if he would have shut up. That's the thing. Probably went to. Probably would have went right. He would have taken it. you right behind the dumpster and given you a gummer. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> a gummer. <laughs> I would have declined. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he officially was, he would have declined. He on was on the record, respectfully. Yeah, he was something else. But the homeless people is super interesting. Um, another guy, and I'm gonna leave after I tell you the story. You guys can kind of chat about it while I restart the cameras. But another guy, the crosswalk. So people don't give a shit what you do in New York. One, everyone feels like they're in the biggest hurry ever. I'm like, where do you have to be? Right? Yeah, I guess it's seven o'clock at night. Where do you have to be? Um, and I'm walking across the crosswalk. I have the little white guy that tells me to walk, right? You know, the red guy that's a stop, white guy go. And I'm walking right across the middle of the street, straight through traffic. A guy on a bike comes ripping right behind me. Like almost, I was wearing a backpack, almost hits my backpack. I'm like, oh, that was crazy. He turns, don't you watch where you're fucking going? And I'm like, I'm the, crosswalk. Come the crosswalk and <laughs> telling me to walk as he's ripping through traffic. And I'm yeah. like, these people here, man, they're crazy. Yeah. I'd have to stab a lot of people if I lived in New York. Yeah. Now. You definitely could. Because Tensions would run so high. I think it'd be easy to. Yeah. I think those people just piss me off so much. Like the, the arrogance. They, they piss me off riding their bikes when I'm in a truck and they're on the road. Yeah. And I go plenty of sidewalk right over there like 
And now, of wait, course, a motorcycle or a bicycle? Had to be a bicycle. A bicycle. bicycle? A, oh, man. A rentable one. You can rent city bikes where it's like there's just racks like of a hundred bikes. You just rent it and then find a different rack to put it in. Yeah, Almost that, like a bird. or a, You have to motion yeah. for him to get off the bike and say it's go time. I think that was my one opportunity to be a New Yorker and just immediately go to suck my cock. Like I wanted to yell it back at him, but I panicked. I was like, I, this guy's crazy. <laughs> when you say immediately go to suck my cock, it paints a different picture in my <laughs> well, head. No, like say that, like yell that back at him, obviously. Like I wanted to scream and then I, I panicked. I was like, the, I can't the nice that. Midwesterner in you scream. said, yeah, who gives a shit? That? I was definitely the nicest person like in New York service wise within a one mile block. Like no one says thank you when you're opening doors holding things for them. You know, it's weird. No it's they probably different. don't even do that. Very jaded. And that's what, you know, we went to, we went to the Broadway comedy club, me and Shane on uh Friday night or Thursday night, Thursday night. And there was this comedian. He's from New York and he was telling a story. He goes, any of you tourists, have you given any money to anybody on the subway or any homeless people yet? And he's like, no, probably not. He's like, New Yorkers, we become jaded. We don't give money to anybody. He said, there could be a, co- a guy that's just a collarbone that rides in on a skateboard and we won't give him money. He obviously said it way funnier, but I'm like, you guys really are jaded, man. They don't give money to people. They don't give shit. It's pretty seldom that I do. Yeah. I don't think I ever have. No. Some but I think about it. giving me you know? money last, the other night oh, at the bar. Oh, man. That was funny. Me and my good friend Todd. <laughs> so, so get with you or what? <laughs> No, no, he was, was there. He was there with his wife. That. Oh, it was so funny, dude. So I'm sitting there at the blackjack table and I'm playing, and I flip over a twelve against like an eighteen. Yeah, yep. flip a twelve, and he goes, he's he out of nowhere. This guy just shows up on my shoulder and he goes, double that. I go, what? He goes, double that. I double that all day. I go, I don't know if that's the play here. He goes, I get. I was playing ten dollar hands. He goes, I'll give you ten bucks if you lose. I go. Good enough for me. <laughs> Doubled it. Lost. <laughs> and I turned over and he go, and I was like, well, here we are. <laughs> Shimmies around his pocket for a second. Hands me three bucks. <laughs> hands me three singles. And I look at it. And I go, hey, that's not $10. <laughs> and I, was hey. Like, I was like, hey, that's not 10 bucks. And he goes, oh, hang on. Hands me a five. <laughs> so we're at eight now. So, so we get to eight and then he goes into the other pocket and hands me a single and we get to nine and I go, that's good enough. I pull uh, out, I pull out my wallet and pull a, pull a $1 out and I go yeah. throw it in to grab it's a $1 get, get story to have right yeah. there. And I go, uh, I can't remember what I said to him. And, uh, he goes, if you need more or something, whatever flips open his wallet, flips it open like this. And it's one of those like money clip in the center ones. Yeah. 500 bucks in twenties falls out of his wallet onto the floor <laughs> all across my lap onto the floor. I'm like, what is going on here? But you couldn't spare a 10. <laughs> so I'm down on my hands and knees, picking this guy's up money, picking this guy's money up off the floor. And I folded it up and I handed it to him and I said, you know, I hope one day I'm rich enough that someone else picks up my money for me. <laughs> and he goes, uh, he goes, oh, thanks, man. Like, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Like this and that. And then he, he walks away, comes back five minutes later. Hands me a twenty dollar bill, and he goes, "You know what? A, a bad man would have probably like tried to sneak one of those twenties and like stuff them in his pocket and stuff like that, but you didn't. You know, you, you picked them all up. He's and like, you I went over there and me. I counted it. Yeah, and he goes, you, 'You're like, you're a good dude. Like, take one of these twenties. I go, cool. Okay. Yeah, of course. Took I his twenty, started playing a little bit more. Comes back ten minutes later, hands me another twenty, and. Did he's you like, take it? He's again? like, keep playing. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, of course I did. I took it. <laughs> oh, no, took I can't. Again. Yeah, I took it and I played it again. And uh, I kept playing up and I was just hit and miss, just not like getting yeah. any money at all. And uh, then he goes to leave like 15 minutes later and he goes, what happened with my money? Did you win anything? And I go, no, but I, I gave him four or $5 chip. And I was like, here, take it. Like, it was your money to begin with anyway. Then he left. Did he take the chips? Yeah, he took them, cash them in and left. <laughs> I said, well. So he okay. had like five bucks left or he had like 40 bucks left. He like you said, four or $5 chips or four. I or gave, $5 I gave him chips. No, I gave him 20 bucks back. Okay. I gave him four or $5 chips. Back. Gotcha. Gotcha. I said, there you go. Like I, I thought you meant four or five, $1 chips. I'm like, that's 
I'm that, nice that, that would have been a nice shrug back to him. Like, ah, here's your 20 bucks back. Here's five $1 chips. Yeah. Like when he said he get, he was going to give you 10 bucks and he handed you three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that's, that's Todd dude. That's, that's the homie right yeah, there. Apparently he's a regular. Him? No, he's a regular. No, I met him for the, the first time that night at the felt and every, like all the dealers knew him. And apparently his thing is just double everything. Where? Like he doubles. Is he a 16s. giant Indian? No, no. Mm. Regular, regular looking fella. Yeah. There's one guy, a, a very heavy set Indian gentleman that I see all the time. And he buys in for two, three hundred every time. Like that's Eight. crazy. Like every night. Like, crazy. No, Did not, you, not you as didn't crazy know this as that though. No, ne- met him for the first time that night. Name's mm-hmm. Todd. Shook his hand. Got to know him. I was playing blackjack. He was over on the E-Tab machine over there doing something. And then I would look over at Hayden sitting next to me or whoever sitting next to me. I was talking to him. I go, yeah, that guy over there like just keeps walking up, handing me money and this and that. He comes over from the ETAM machine 20 feet away in a, in a bar. Like we're all having conversations. And he goes, I heard you guys talking about me over here. I go, what kind of <laughs> supersonic hearing do we have on our, yeah. like what is going on? Can we get this freak out of my radius. It's insane. God. Yeah. That'd nice be fella, nice. Though. Yeah. Nice fella. I mean, yeah, it's cool. when uh, it's cool. And you just get people handing you free money. Yeah. I, yeah. I wasn't going to say no, whatever yeah. you want to, you want me to keep playing? Cool. Keep playing. Yeah. Those New York city homeless people should go hang around Todd. Yeah. Yeah. Um, New York City was good. Uh, I had to compare it though. New York City is a place where now that I've been there, I don't know what the reason to go back is. You no know? more sites to see. Well, it's like you can go do the touristy stuff and see the sites. Like there was a couple things we didn't do. We went to the Statue of Liberty. No, we didn't go there. People said it's not worth it to go there. Like you could see it and then, you know, cool good enough. Then you leave. Unless you're going to go like to the top of it, but even then it's whatever. Yeah. Um, but we went to the top of one building is uh, summit one Vanderbilt. And it's like, you go to the very top and you can see the whole skyline. We did that at night. It's cool. Seeing all of it. Um, we went to the natural museum of history where they did the night at the museum. Mm-hmm. One thing I'll say about that place you can definitely see why it'd be a little bit creepy if that happened in real life where everything came alive. Yeah. That'd be a little sketchy. Um, also I'd like to punch the owner of that place in the face. Don't know who it is, but whoever designed that floor plan is the most anxious driven thing on earth. There's no rhyme or reason to a path that you take. Usually, usually you go through like a guided tour, right? It's like you walk through here. It'll lead you to the next room. That room will lead you to this room. Then you'll go upstairs and just one path, right? This is a free for all. So go in whatever room you want. If you miss them, you're fucked. So I'm like going, I'm like, we miss the ocean life. Oh, now we miss the Asians. Now we need to go back to. Yeah, you didn't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> now we need to go back to, the, you know, the dinosaur. So it's like, holy man, that was the worst thing ever. And I think I swear I walked three miles in that one building. Kept getting lost, but it was really cool. Um, I just like seeing the giant whale. It like a All life-size right. whale hanging from the ceiling. Well, I, was I got. Big? Yeah, a lot bigger than I thought they were. Yeah. It seems to be the case with a lot of things. Yeah. In case anyone listening hasn't seen a moose. <laughs> yeah. I also sent Liam and Broden a picture of a moose. And that was massive. Did I not send you guys a picture of the whale? I took a picture of it. Yes. No. You, it was, you not sent me. You sent, you sent me a picture of the woolly mammoth. Yeah. you said, But you sent me a picture of the whale. Um, here's the picture. I guess I'll wait for you to finish and I'll ask my question. Yeah. I'll, here's the picture of the whale. Man. Sorry. It's a little dark in there. Well, he's looking at that. Huh. Yeah, those are huge, isn't it? Those are pretty big. Is it a blue whale? It looks gray in this picture. Yeah, it's a grayish blue. (laughs) (laughs) Rodan. Well, the blue blue whale is the name of it. It is a blue whale. Okay. It doesn't Uh, look very blue. It's a gray whale. Is a gray whale a thing? I think they're called gray whales. Polar bear down there. You got. uh, It's uh, cool. The taxidermy stuff's way cooler than like walking through the dinosaurs is a boring skeleton. It's just a bunch of, yeah. Skeletons. I love it's dinosaurs though, man. I'll never, I'll never skimp out on a dinosaur portion of a museum. I love looking at that stuff. I walked through Manatee it, but right there. Like it sucked. Like it's like cool bones. You I think, you, yeah, I think you just have to, I, I saw it. Oh, yeah. I think I got one more. I got another, sorry, bro. You can ask this question, but I got one dinosaur thing. That's pretty cool. Did you, Fly down there with just some select equipment, what you know you need. Two Pelican cases, yep. Hit play on that video. That was the coolest dinosaur part. No, but what I was going to say was 
your absolute like worst thing oh, or least shit. favorite thing. <laughs> it just kept going, dude. Yeah. Joe Broden, he hasn't seen that video. Then we'll get into the question. I promise okay. we'll stop cutting you off. God, that's so many. Isn't it crazy? That's so cool. Like a, a brontosaurus or a brachiosaurus. It's or a something. long neckosaurus. Fuck yeah. is that thing? Long tailosaurus too. <laughs> It's a long Did, tail of Nekosaurus. The, yeah, the tail is as long as the neck. It's and like then there's a, also a body with it, too. It's called a counterweight. Shut up. It's like that dog. No, it's not. Remember that one show on Cartoon Network where it was a dog cat, dog. A cat dog? Yeah. That's what it is. Dinosaur. That's cool, dude. What was it? Do you remember? No, I didn't look at the signs. If you're those people that go to the museums and you read, like, every sign. Duh. I do. Well, you couldn't. You'd been there for seven and a half hours. Longer. Yeah, I could spend seven sure, and a half longer. hours in a museum. I definitely could. One of you those. Definitely could have. Yeah. I'd yeah. be all over that. Look at that guy too. Is that a dong? <laughs> what no. is that? Is that Roy bone. Dong? It's a bone. Uh, what's your question now? No, I was uh, your least favorite or like the worst part about New York City, and then your favorite thing that you saw or did. Uh, least favorite is the smell. It smells like marijuana everywhere like is it legal there bad yeah and i didn't realize that until i got there yeah but it is every guy it's just skunk on the side of the road just smoking weed yeah. just straight up and i can understand now why people when they vote against like legalizing marijuana i can't imagine if every state it was legal in every single city smelled like that it would be you're right it's be not horrible. it's not the most no, not a very pleasant. It's not a good smell, smell at all. No. So that's like the first time when I'm like, this, a world like this, you'd get used to it. Yeah. But it would definitely suck. It like does. it's, you'd walk by and I'm like, oh God, it just reeks. And so weird because like some of it's like, whatever, it doesn't smell that bad. And then some is like, this is bad. But then my, it might have been the people smoking it too that would add to the smell. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> yeah. It could just be New York too. Yeah. I can't imagine that place smells great. Yeah, so I would Without say that pot. that was probably my least favorite part. Um, the f- favorite part, I wonder what my favorite part would be. Could have been a restaurant you ate at. Though. Oh, man. Something you saw at the top of the... It could have been the skyline you saw at the top of the, um, the World Trade Center. <laughs> was it the World Trade Center? I did go to the World Trade Center Museum, which saw that video. pretty the interesting. Museum, you went to Ground Zero, too. Ground right? Zero, yeah. Yeah, where the and first guy museum. got AIDS. <laughs> allegedly um and it's okay that's super surreal ground zero i'll get back to your question ground zero when you are standing there and you look up at the new tower the freedom one tower whatever they call it um it's weird being in new york looking up thinking imagine you were standing right here and you watched a plane fly into that building right it doesn't really resonate with you until you're standing there looking at and it doesn't even have to be in Times square or not Times Square, at ground zero. If you looked at a giant building in Times Square and you looked up and you're like, I just a plane flying into that. Then it's it's really weird. Insane. Yeah. It's like, I can't imagine what those people were thinking. Like, I want to I wanna live through that, but I don't want to live through that. We've had this conversation on the podcast before. But yeah, it was, that was really cool too. Um, favorite part though, man, did I have a good steak at STK, it was called. Steak? STK. Yeah. STK is what the, yeah. It's an acronym. That's yeah. kind of cool. But they say, cool. ST, you know, welcome to STK. Um, you got lost trying to find it. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was an $80 steak, which is a Ooh. bit ridiculous. What cut was it? It was a 14 ounce New York strip. Damn. That's, that's my go-to. I love a New York strip. Yeah, yeah. but for 80 bucks. Holy yeah. shit. And, and what then, a place to get it too. Yeah. Besides New York. Right. Um, and then I was sitting there by myself, like Steven Glansberg, for those people that have seen Super Bad. He eats lunch by himself. But yeah, the first couple of days I was by myself. So I just went to the steak restaurant. They're like, oh, you waiting for anybody? I'm like, nope, bring me the New York strip. Uh, got fried calamari. Tasted so horrible like fish. Like really? usually I like calamari. Yeah. But it was so fishy tasting in like, uh, I don't know. I didn't like it at all. I had like three pieces. I was trying to just gut it down because it cost me like $36 for yeah. an appetizer. I was like, I got to eat all of this. And then I got the greatest tater tots. I thought it was going to be like a bowl of tater tots. Yeah. Just like poor people th- would think. And they came with like six tater tots in a triangle. Perfect triangle. Sitting upright. Like there were little people. 
with little stuff sprinkled on top of them. Yeah. And you bit into them. I was like, this, it, it tasted cheesy for some reason. So good. Cheesy tots. Yeah. And, Cheese uh, stuffed tater tots. I don't think there was any cheese in there, though. It was just like so moist. Oh, it was awesome. I'm almost tasting it right now. My but mouth's yeah, watering was, as you're talking about <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, that was basically the best meal I had. Me and Shana went to a nice steak place, which actually cost more money between for both of us. But the food wasn't as good. It's funny. We walked in. It's called Frankie and Johnny's. A little hole in the wall restaurant. It was like four star something or another. And um, I walk in. And I'm wearing jeans, cream sweatshirt, and a black aloe hat. Shane is wearing black leather pants and like a black shirt. And everyone's walking in in just tight dresses and suits and fancy clothes. I'm like. Mr. Might be yeah, uh, might Mr. be out of our <laughs> out of our uh, dress, whatever you want to call it. And then some old couple came in, dressed like an old couple would be, and just regular out everyday clothes. And we felt a little bit more, we fit in a little bit more. But yeah, that was crazy. They were like, "Our special is," and a guy, those guys never speak good English, right? So he went on for like three minutes explaining all the stuff he has. I'm like, just give me the steak and the. I don't even know what my side was. Like, give me the steak and the broccoli. We'll call it good. So, yeah. Also, at that place, so many stories I forget about, but uh, we go down. So, there's two layers. We go to the bottom floor, and there is two guitarists in a bass, like a, what's the cello bass called? Cello. But the cello, there's like a bigger one. The bass. The bass. Like dun, 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 dun. Yeah, the one you pluck. Yeah. So, there was those three, two guitar people. Different guitars. I don't know what the difference is, but one is like doing high stuff. One is doing low stuff. And this bass player. And I think in this restaurant, they had no rhyme or reason to what they were playing. They're all just playing their own shit. <laughs> and it just sounded That's like that video that. Yeah. The video I said to you, it's like yeah. me and the boys convinced the restaurant owner that we're badass. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, it's just them. They're like the one bass guy's just plucking. I don't even think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. The two guitar people just took a break at one point. One guy just stopped and started drinking some water. And then all you could hear was the guy playing bass. And it sounded horrible without the guitars. But I literally think they were just messing around on the instruments. And it sounded like some weird restaurant music. But I was like, what? And Shane was in the bathroom. I was waiting for her for eight minutes because she had like a bloody nose. So I'm sitting there watching these people. (laughs) (laughs) Um. So I'm sitting there watching these people play for literally like eight or nine minutes, just staring right at the back of their necks too, because I was by the door. I was like, this is fascinating how bad these guys are. This is crazy. Yeah. And then a whole new group of them walked in. Three other guys with their instruments and like black bags walked in. "Hmm, Must be the... It's just a little background sound. It doesn't have to be good or bad. Yeah. So it was. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, people aren't even thinking about the music unless they're me staring at the back of them. Yeah. And I'm like... (laughs) I bet no one's ever stood here and thought these guys are not in sync at all. Yeah. They weren't. My cousin loves living there. Lives in New York city. Yeah. 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 He's got a, he's got an apartment with him. And I think it's like two or three other people. It's obviously like, it, I don't think yeah. it's a very big apartment, but is he in Manhattan or is he in a different borough? Do you know? Not too sure. Manhattan's like, I don't know. It's really, I couldn't imagine living there. Like, I feel like I would like it, but man, is it expensive. I was yeah. thinking this too. I don't know how you'd ever start a business in New York City. Where do you start? Yeah. The competitors are insane. No one wants to give you the time of day. I'm sure there's nice people out there, but that's just what I was thinking. Um, and I compare it to like a different vacation. Let's say Vegas, because I like Vegas. I go to Vegas a lot. When you go to Vegas, everyone is on the same page. I'm there. I want to go drink. I want to go eat. I want to gamble go to the pool, you know, just have a good time, yeah. right? New York City is like, hey, I'm going to just pick you up and I'm going to drop you in this. Everyone's doing their regular regular everyday life and now you're a part of it. Yeah. So I'm looking around, too risky, and people are just sprinting through crosswalks, AirPods in. I'm like, huh, these people are just living their everyday lives and I'm here like a foreign implant. It's weird. Yeah. So He's that's the difference. It. Yeah. So that's where I'm like, why would I ever go back to New York City? The comedy club is super cool. I'd go there for that. But um, I guess a friend's trip, maybe the bars. Like we went to a couple of rooftop bars, which are pretty cool. Yeah. It was kind of cold. Um, Central Park was cool, but it's just like 
It's like a park, but it's really big. Just big ass park. Centralized. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> right in the middle of Manhattan. Yeah, um, so nothing special about it. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm like, once you go there once, like, what do you need to go back there for? You're right. The only trip you should ever take is back to Las Vegas. And that's how, how I feel. Yeah. I don't want to go anywhere else. Well, that's I where I want to go back to Vegas yeah. once a year for the rest of my life. And even like for the same trip. So the reason I was there is shooting a video project. And at the end of the trip or at the end of this month, we have to go to LA for the second half of the project. And I'm thinking like, what do you want to do in LA? Same thing. I mean, I think I would like LA more than New York. I've been there so I can compare you the see two. some Hollywood stars. LA seems more relaxed and more like, oh, this is a life. Whereas New York seems like, hey, it's the hustle and everything's bustle. on fire. Yeah. Good luck. So a New York minute. Is that what they say? It's faster than a New York minute. Yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. And I was exhausted, man. I don't know if it was from traveling, but I went through like four hours of my day and I get back to the hotel. I'm like, ah, I can work a little bit now. And I'm like, I am so tired. So that to be the time was. change. Could have been. It's also weird being an hour ahead of everybody. Yeah. It feels like you are living in the future. Yeah. Very weird. And I think this is my philosophy that I was coming up with. I had a lot of time alone in New York City. So I was thinking about a lot of weird shit. But I was thinking, I like Vegas because the time zone is behind us, right? It's two hours behind us. So while you guys are out there living your lives, I'm like, I still got my whole day ahead of me, right? And like, the honestly, night is young. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter because it's all relative based on when you wake up. You're thinking, but. why didn't these guys warn anyone about 9-11? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm like, of course. I'm in New York City. What are these West Coast people doing? They could have seen this coming. Um, but yeah, it's super different when it's like six o'clock in New York. It's and I'm like five o'clock. I'm here. like, my day is over. But then you're thinking like, oh, there's still people like they're still at their jobs. I'm like, Liam's still in wherever he's at. Doing he hasn't stuff. even in the work truck yet. No, so it's really weird. And then you're going to bed and you're like, people are still awake. This is so nerve wracking. Then you wake up and you're like, everyone's sleeping. What's going on? Why am I awake right now? It's really weird. I suppose you get used to it though. That's how I feel pretty normally. Yeah. You do too. You're awake before everyone else and you go to sleep after everyone else. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That's just because I have a terrible sleep schedule. Yeah. You want to know what that is? What One thing that I saw, and I sent it to Shana too. The reason you stay up late and you scroll through Instagram or you watch videos. Because you, you, you finally, finally have finally free have time. Control of this life. is awesome. You guys both knew the answer. You both tried it. Yeah. It's like you're waiting for someone to ask you that. Yeah, because I've seen that too. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like a low level of anxiety. Yeah. To where like extremely low because like now like, you know, you should be sleeping, but it feels like you finally have a second to yourself. And so you want to capitalize on that. Yeah. And so you spend your time doing um, something that you can control. Yeah. Cause you don't have control over your work daily schedule. Life. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas now you do, so you don't go to sleep. And I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. Cause I do that sometimes. It's like, oh, I'm just sitting here and scroll. It's like, why am I doing this? Just go yeah. to bed. But then it's like, but then when I wake up and I have to go do the shit I don't want to do. Exactly. Yeah. And being awake takes longer than shutting your eyes and going eight hours done. Yeah. Back to the rat race. Yeah. Back to the rat race. New York City, I could definitely see that being a rat race, though. I can't I like believe, to go I can't one time. See any. I'd, yeah, go, I I'd go to say I'd, I win. I mean, yeah, just I don't have I don't have a big travel bug. I mean, but I would love to just be able to go and see places. Like, yeah. Like not like always on the move because I'm comfortable here. This is where my house is like. Yeah. I enjoy the comfort, but there's something special about going on a trip. And then when you get back like Sunday, when I got back to my house, yeah, my own bed, I could just sit on the couch. Yeah. It is the greatest feeling ever. Yeah. Like I'm not traveling. I'm not in a hotel. It's awesome. Yeah. I envy you for that. Cause I did not get that. I, I went, to, when I came back home from Indiana, I was like, finally, like, Great to see family. Great to be away. But it's like a vacation, like over vacation days, like where I have time off work. It's yep. like when I'm sitting there, like obviously enjoying family time. Yeah. But I'm like, God, I could really be doing stuff on my house right now. Yeah. I got these projects and stuff. And then I flew back the whole time. I was like, can't wait back in my bed. Yep. Sleep so good. Slept like shit. <laughs> Slept so bad. Woke up, felt like shit. And then I flew back on Wednesday. 
went back to work Thursday. Uh, so had had all of two hours of well, house I think before I went back to for you, your specific situation. Because just before you went to Indiana, we were in Florida for five days. That too. Then you were home for a day and a half and then yeah. right back to Indiana on a plane. Yeah. So that, I mean. I wasn't even home for like three weeks. And I exactly. hate, I hate when people see like girls be like, I, I love flights. Let's get on flight. Flights suck. I, I hate being on the damn plane. I hate being in the airport. Yeah. I hate it all. I could totally see why those dudes were so pissed that they flew them into towers. I, <laughs> I, I hate it. I Dude, hate it. Traveling is the worst. And then and it's I, like, yeah. you like, you should like the destination, right? Boom. There's I nothing glorifying about being in a seat that's yeah. this big. And I, I was stranger next to me. The, I, like, oh. I put my AirPod in five minutes into the flight. It died screaming baby next to me. <laughs> I go, this is awesome. Yeah. It's Cannot like, wait. Dude, it sucks. And it's like, I'm not, I don't pay for comfort plus. I was, I was on Delta. I don't pay for comfort plus. I don't pay for first class. So I'm sitting there in economy and like these chairs are shitty. It sucks being tall when you're flying. Yeah. It's like my knees. And then I have this asshole lady in front of me just leaning back. It's fine. If you lean back, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Everyone leans back. You lean back. I'll lean back. Person behind me should lean back. She is wrench it just bouncing on her seat for two and a half hours from Minneapolis or from New York to Minneapolis. And I was like, this is the most absurd thing I've ever, I wanted to literally grab her head and pull it off of her head or pull it off of her neck. I was like, Oh my God, I can't handle it. But the nice part about the Delta flights, they have the little movie things. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. But yeah. Flying sucks, man. It's literally horrible. Not good. Hate it. Then there being in the airport, trying to get through TSA, Waiting for your flight. I mean, it all sucks. Especially if you don't have a lot of time between connecting flights. Yeah. That's the worst. I was uh, buzz over to the other gate. You don't have time to, because when I fly, like if I catch a nice grace period, I go, nice dude. Like I'm on vacation. I use vacation as my, as my excuse to spend a little bit of money. Yeah. Like, whatever. I'm out of town. I've earned this. I'm on vacation. Yeah. $400 Ubers. I hit the airport. <laughs> yeah, that too. I hit the airport. Get me a nice caramel macchiato. Yeah. Sit there for a second. A Seventeen dollar airport sandwich or something. Yeah, I have a little snack. I hit Panda Express real quick. Like yep. nice. Any other time, like rush to go over to the gate. Terrible. Yeah. So sucks. Hate it. We were at so we were at the gate a little bit early on our connecting flight, and the plane that got there, this older Asian lady got off, and she was speaking to the gate attendant, saying, asking questions about how to get to her next flight, and the lady's like, "Well, you better." get going like you got to go your plane's leaving like soon and you need to be there she's like oh okay kept looking at her she's like no like hurry like, oh okay and like bend over slowly grabbed her bags messing with her bags grabs her other bag lays like like you need to hurry she's like yeah yeah grabs it picks it up turns around walks away the slowest i've ever seen him walk yeah. and then like the minneapolis airport they have the tram right yeah Tram sitting there. She just keeps walking. And I'm like, what is this lady doing? She just, no I want to have no cares in the world like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah, if I miss it, I'd miss it. Yeah. What do you do? Well, that, when I flew out of mine on for my trip, here's what I'm going to start doing is, uh, of course, Delta overbooked it. And they plan on doing that, I think. And right away, it was like six in the morning. They're like, uh, we've accidentally overbooked our flight. Uh, we're offering. $1,100 if you're willing to accept and leave three hours later. And I was just about to do it. And I was like, nah, I'm going to lose, lose out on time with my family, this and that. 6 a.m. though? Yeah. Or whatever. 100%. I would have said. Whatever it was. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, and then $11? I told, sure. I told my dad that and he goes, oh, shit, dude. Like, I would have <laughs> picked you up three hours later. Yeah. Would have paid for my whole flight and then some. I was like, Damn. Yeah. Flights are expensive. The nice part about Delta, which I usually, when I go to Vegas, I fly Allegiant, right? So yeah. you have to pay for a check or a carry on. You have to pay Does for Allegiant a check fly out of mine on? Yep. Okay. Straight to Vegas. You have to pay for stuff on the plane. Yeah. So when you're flying Delta, it's awesome. I got free checked bag, yeah. free carry on, which I don't, I think they messed up or something or something with my, I was say, I don't attached to my, my Amex card. I think you get like free incidental fees or something like that, yeah. but they didn't charge me for the check bag. The free carry on. I know you get the free carry on and the snacks on the plane are free and the drinks. I'm like, mine was way better. Really? For Delta? I think, 
it might have been on my connecting flight Minneapolis to. I mean, the whole thing would have been Delta anyway, right? I mean, yeah. if, I mean, if you're flying Delta, yeah. I asked. It'd be crazy if they're like you're on United. <laughs> Good luck. They were char- they they charged for uh, if you wanted like a pop or a cookie or something like that. Oh. Like because they came by like you want this or that. I was like because they didn't say anything like if it's yeah. complimentary. I go is it free? And they go no, you have to pay for it. I was like, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, get out of my face. I'm gonna keep playing chess for the next three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Just all my I did. I had babies no screaming in my ear. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was complimentary on mine. Um, they had sun chips, cookies, peanuts. And it was on my pop. way back too. Yeah. But it was just that one flight. It, was, it mm. wasn't. I go, what's going on here? Huh? Interesting. Yeah. I think it's the funniest thing ever when you're on a flight. And I get like the first class comfort plus economy. If you're on Turkish Airlines flying 19 hours. Yeah. Because those seats absurd, right? It's like a house in the air. Yeah. Delta's first class, they just pull a little curtain over. <laughs> and I'm like, same what? seats. Yeah. I'm like, what kind of privacy you, you got up there? Now you don't have to look at yeah. the poor people. I'm like, you know how bad I, I can still hit you with a spitball if I yeah. want, you know? <laughs> so it's like, it's kind of funny. But um, yeah. All right. That's kind of all I got. Broden, I feel like you've just been listening to me and Liam talk, but. Yeah. You guys were talking about planes for 30 <laughs> minutes and <laughs> planes, trains, cool. and automobiles. I'm glad you guys yeah. like planes. Do we really know how like, planes work? Oh yeah, my God. Do. Did I send you the video of the icon of the seas, the new cruise ship? I get how oh, boats yeah. float, yeah. but I don't. They are so big and so heavy. And yeah. they just sit huge? on the water. That's the what icon I replied to you. I go too heavy. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, can't float. it's literally the most absurd thing. Bro, and you haven't seen a picture of the icon of the seas. No, I can't say it's I'm insane, looking at dude. it. It's so cool. It's a giant boat and they have like three pools on it. It is so while you're floating in water. You could swim. Yeah, it's the new, it's the biggest uh, cruise ship they have now. It's the icon of the seas. And um, you take a squander at that little guy there. Um, and it is, there's a there's a video because it's now, it's available for float or whatever they call it. <laughs> um, it's going into the port of it's Miami. It's ready to set sail. Yeah, it's ready to set sail. And it is just absurdly big. I don't think I could do a cruise either, man. Really? I'd no, be down for I, it. I'd I do wouldn't it once. want to. I would, I would be down... I want to do everything once. I I'd be down two, to do everything once. I had two free cruise passes that I had to book by December 22nd. I didn't book them. Everything? They're free. I know, but... Everything? <laughs> no. <laughs> Most let's get, things. Let's, let's get some rhyme or reason Most in here. Things. Huh? Um, but yeah, it's... you. Could, we could have went together. Yeah, we could have. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Shit. Well, yeah, me and Shana were going to go, but you have to book it by December 22nd. And you have to set sail by July 22nd. Oh, that's a tough time to go. Yeah. Then it's summer here. He's like, why would you go? It's like, I get it. Like, let me, let it be forever usable or whatever you call it. Non-expirable. Yeah. Doesn't mold. Doesn't. Doesn't need mitigation. Zero mitigation. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Unmitigatable. Put that on. Yeah. Um, But yeah. So. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself in New York. It was a good time. It's a good time. I'm upset you didn't get to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, though. Didn't go on the subway. I decided I'm going to stay above ground. Probably good choice. The best. Yeah, I heard some crazy shit goes on in the subway, and I'm like, it's not really for me. So instead, I paid $400 for a lift, which I could have avoided by going on the subway, but it's a write-off. Yeah. It is a write-off. Um, anything else you guys want to update us on before we're back to our regular scheduled events next week? Um. Our Florida trip was fun. Yeah, we did oh, some golfing. Shit, yeah, we didn't we, talk about that. We yeah. played a lot of golf. We played Me, 72 holes of golf. Tell me about the yeah. Florida trip. We uh, we went to Florida. Orlando. Near the Orlando, yeah. We stayed in Kissimmee. Uh, we played 18 holes on the first course the one day. And then the following day, was that when we played those back-to-back horses? Yep. And played 36. Because we stayed, it was at that uh, resort where Arnold Palmer designed. Yeah, we played uh, Orange Lake Resort, uh, the Reserve, and the Legends courses. And then we the next day we played Falcons Fire. So you avoided the rain. I know it's supposed to rain in there. No, no, we We got shafted. Yeah, first first day was tough. Yeah, we. What about the golf, (laughs) bro? No. Golf went well. <laughs> Just a smirk. Golf went well for me and my teammate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bron, Bron and his team, Bron and Alex beat me and Nick for the first time in over a year at golf. That'll happen on them bigger trips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Them beat bigger it by jobs. one stroke. 
Or one hole. We were doing match play. Yeah, we we beat, beat you. Just by one hole. Hey, yep. they don't ask how. Exactly. Yeah. And Wins I, one, I was I was not on fire. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. I was playing. I had some nice shots, but I was not playing well. Yeah. I don't think anybody got, was playing well, to be honest. Not something. really. I think, like, and that's that's the part of it, though. Hold out. We, we were all, yeah, you did. That was sick. I think we were all collectively playing so bad that we all saw each other hit, like, a few nice shots. And we're like, we're playing pretty good golf. Yeah. Right yeah. yeah. Dude, there was. It was not good. So we all played, like, shit uh, on the first course the second day. Except I had, I did. You had I, one. That drive. That, that one on that par, par five. four. Or that, that drive, that drive on that par four, I got like thirty feet from the pin, but that was cool. no. We, and then we all had really shitty round. And then the very last hole, the eighteenth, we go up and one of the court, uh, the Rangers is sitting there watching us play it. We all smoke drives. We all just put within like five feet, ten feet of the pin, and we get off. And the guy goes, "Man, y'all are some really good golfers. Like some <laughs> of the better golfers we've ever seen come through here." And we're like. Yeah, man. You sure. missed the yeah. first 17 holes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my first no, third sleeve of balls. Well, because I had an insane yeah. shot from like, I don't know, like 140, 130 yeah. out. Yeah. And we, it was kind of elevated green. And so we're like, holy shit, like that might go in. So Nick got on top of Alex's shoulders and like couldn't see the ball. So he's like, holy shit, I think you just hold out from 140. <laughs> we're all freaking out. Yeah. And Liam's walking from the cart and he goes, Dude, no, he didn't. I see it right there. Yeah, I was I was watching him because I was doing whatever. I was hitting it with my rangefinder or whatever. And I see them like on their shoulders. I was like, what are they doing? And I'm looking at the ball. I'm like five feet away from the hole. I'm like, great shot. Yeah. But Brone runs over to him. He goes, I think I just hold out, dude. They can't see it. And I'm like, they can't see it. It's five feet. No, yeah. Well, they're morons. Did they ever tell you that part? Yeah. yeah. It was a good shot. It was like a tap in basically, but yeah, yeah. those, it might've been those same guys because it was on, it was on, I think it was that first course we played in the morning where it was, uh, it was that par five where I had my, I hit that drive. It was that dog leg left, that long one. I hit my drive and then I hit my four iron and then Nick made the Eagle putt. Mm-hmm. And so we drove pack, we drove back around there on the back nine and they're like, hey, how are you guys playing today? How are you doing? I'm like, pretty good. We even like, we snuck in an eagle there on the first time. And Nick was like, yeah, he eagled that hole by himself or something like that. And he goes, that, are you kidding me? Like, no one's ever like, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone like eagling that hole. Like, that's insane. Like, you guys are really good. Shirt. Yeah, What's yeah, they name? were like freaking out <laughs> they about it. Yeah, they were like hyping us up. And me and Nick drove away and I go, they must not have saw me lose a box of balls in the first four holes. <laughs> yeah. And we all did too. Trip. Oh yeah. man, lost so many. But it was balls. so much fun, dude. Like oh, the, sick. it was 70 degrees and sunny outside. Yeah. You guys the, stay in Airbnb? Yeah. 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 Very nice Airbnb. Had a, which hopefully the people that own the Airbnb aren't watching, but we turned their living room into a pickleball court. Yeah. <laughs> we played pickleball inside the living room. That was fun. Yeah. Did you, did you bring your own pickleball paddles? Yeah. We did. Nick brought them. Yeah. And so we were playing. There's the, it's like a little island, like countertop area where you, yeah. like right by the sink. So it splits the living room and the kitchen. We use that as the net. Oh, okay. And we were getting over there and like, oh. we were all, we were getting a little sauced up. We were, yeah. we were making dream sequels. It wasn't sober pickleball. No. Pickerball. <laughs> but no, yeah. <laughs> and then it's not, and then eventually it got to the point where we were just, Crush we we brought the ball back and forth. We, we pulled five balls out of the bag and we're just everybody was hitting a ball everywhere. <laughs> so funny. Like somebody hit a Airbnb. picture, a picture fell off the wall. Somebody almost broke a chandelier, and that did not deter us one no, one yeah. little minuscule. Tomorrow's amount. problem. Yeah. What's it like traveling with golf clubs? Not too bad. Same as your pelican cases. Yeah. You just go in, make sure it's not 50. <laughs> yeah. Liam was over 50 pounds. Oh, yeah. There's an extra charge when, if it's over 50 pounds. Yeah, when I went there, yeah, I put it on there and it was like 52. And like I had all my spare balls Pulls in there. Pulls a seven iron up. Yeah. <laughs> my hefty seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I so I had to unlock it, like get the key out of my backpack, unlock the case, flip it open. I took all the balls out, like my range finder, my Bluetooth speaker, like everything, put it back on there and it was like 47. I was like, oh shit. Didn't okay, take, takes it off, didn't, puts it back yeah, in. Yeah, I go, ah, wait a minute. <laughs> Start stuffing it back in. No. So you don't have like a weigher at home? Didn't even. A didn't, scale? Didn't care. Yeah, yeah scale. I have a scale. Yeah, I didn't even. I, I have like, one of those yeah. cool, uh, for bags, you hit the hook button, it. you hook it, and then just hold it. Yeah. A little drop weight. A little oh, weight. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and I was worried about the camera gear being over 50 pounds, yeah. and it was 27 and 26 pounds. 
Oh, I was like, damn, you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I got, I got a pretty hefty bag. Well, you yeah. got a hefty case too. Did they and check I those case. then? I got my camera. Yeah, they pulled my, open my camera case only at the Bismarck airport and they were wiping the batteries with like cloths. They were checking everything. Really? Sticking it in like some machine to test it or something. I don't know if that's just for lithium ion batteries maybe, but. Well, because you're not supposed to have batteries as checked bags. It wasn't checked. This is my oh. carry-on. Yeah. Mm, that's why. Yeah. But I I took your camera as the carry-on. They, they didn't you do You took shit. that bag? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. They didn't do shit I, when you. I don't know why I did this. Yeah. I, but I took the bag that you gave me. I took that bag and I stuffed it inside my backpack. <laughs> yeah, don't I don't ask, know why. I did this. Don't ask me why. It just yeah. made more sense because then I could have. My water bottle on the side and like it had yeah. more front pockets. So you I could have my, taken the stuff out of that bag and put it in your backpack if you wanted. Yeah, but I would have been, I would have been concerned about the stuff. Damage stuff, yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your uh we took very good care, care of, it. of it. Did you take Dude, some videos, take some photos? Oh, yeah. The SD we, cards up there uh, we if need you, have you to any look at some of photos. free time if you could try to get them off. <laughs> do yeah. <laughs> well and you're gonna have to next. do some work because we took some pictures. They're super dark. And yeah, we we couldn't figure out the exposure. Yeah. And it, they were dark, but if there's yeah. any sort of photographic editing that you could do to turn these pictures not super dark. Well, I if think they're like have, black, yeah, I, I can't. But if it's just l- slightly dark, that's okay. Yeah, they're a little it's bit pretty, more. They're not black, dark. but they're more than slightly dark. If you got 10 minutes after this can. episode, we, yeah, I, we would, I think you'd get a good It's going to be like a hangover out. when they're scrolling pretty through much. the photos. Yeah, yeah, this is the kind of photos yeah. we're taking. Yeah. I was watching the videos in class the other night, too. Some of them are more serious and some of them are pretty funny. I wish we, we found this out real quick. We pulled the camera out for nine holes and then we realized none of us want to film this. We would like it filmed, but we do not want to film this yeah. because then we spend another 10 minutes. Let's go. Hold this I camera real quick. Yeah. Hold this. I'm going to hit my shot. Like you hold this real quick. And then you Although I did get some good footage of Liam missing a putt and then. Yeah. I missed a putt and then Nick missed it right after me and I just sprinted off. <laughs> Yeah. Life of a content creator, man. You want everything filmed. You just don't want to film it. That's where I'm at. Yeah. What, but much. what if we paid you to come film us golfing? Well, that's a different. Or just story. paid for your trip at the very if least. We, yeah. That's we're, fine. We're, I take free trips. I'm doing a film on my buddy's Iron Man. He's flying me to Lake Placid this summer. No Lake kidding. Placid? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is not for me. <laughs> not, <laughs> not you no, I did not hear that. This yeah. guy's Iron Man. Not He's hard as shit. Guys, yeah. yeah. Ooh. Not after watching everyone run and swim and bike. Sounds so fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think that about wraps it up for this episode. That wraps the show, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's good to be back. We, we missed you all we just had so to get very our, much. We had to get our feet under us, get our bearings back together. Yeah. Fall back into the routine a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Same for you guys, too. I know uh, probably four of you guys missed listening to the episode. So. Yeah. yeah. The tens of you watching around the world. Yeah. We appreciate all of you guys. Um And we'll be back next week for episode 73. Peace out.